Hey guys, I'm going back to another quick form video. In today's video, we're comparing the LG Style 4 Plus versus the LG Style 5. So now because both are actually priced at the same price through BoostMobile.com, we're going to be doing a um, spec comparison and price comparison between both. I've done a couple of these videos before and a lot of you guys actually like these. So you said, hey, you know, when more phones that are similar compared in price and maybe specs, see which one has the better specs. So we're going to be digging into that today so let's go ahead and check it out guys um both of them are currently on discount right now as you can see the lg style 4 plus was actually 280 dollars uh you know retail price but right now it's currently 80 dollars off which brings it down to 200 and of course the lg style 5 came out at 200 dollars, which is actually a very good price so style 4 plus was a little outrageous at that price so very good discount so talking about discounts guys let's talk about our New supporter to the channel, Honey. So Honey is a free web browser extension that will find you the best promo codes on popular shopping websites like Amazon, Boost Mobile, Best Buy, and many more. Get it today at joinhoney.com slash referral slash dragonic. It's 100% free. So if you download that um, browser extension, you will be able to help out the channel. You will have to use my uh, referral link in the description below, guys. So like I said, you can save a lot of money using this. Um, you know, Honey uh, browser extension, I saved actually 20% off on the style of 4 Plus when I first got it, thanks to Honey, so check them out. So, let's get into it, guys. So checking out the LG Style of 4 Plus, 200, LG Style of 5, 200. So, let's go ahead and first compare how the phones look. So, this one actually came in a nice a blue, um, very nice color right here. Versus the LG Style 5 comes in this a uh, gray. It's a, this lighter gray color up here. So as you can see, both phones look similar through the back. I think the LG Style 5 actually has a better, uh, maybe looking, at least looking camera. Reminds me of like the J series uh, Samsungs, like J7 or, or you know, uh, the Merge even, the J3. So pretty cool. I do like the blue better on the 4 Plus. And of course... Just looking at them, they look very nice. And I like that the pen on the Style 4 Plus as well has that blue tint right there. So that's pretty cool. Um, Style 5, I mean, it's it's decent. Very, very similar to the LG Style 4 Plus in looks in the front. So really no points there. So let's get into um, seeing what kind of um, key specs they have. So the LG Style 4 Plus has a 6.2 inch touchscreen display. 16 megapixel rear camera, 21 hours of talk time, and 32 gigs of storage. Versus the LG Style 5 has a 6.2 inch touchscreen display, 13 megapixel rear camera, 21 hours of talk time, and 32 gigs of storage. So right there, guys, we're looking at it. They're evenly matched right away. So same specs, nothing changed except for the LG Style 4 Plus has a 16 megapixel camera. Versus the LG Style 5 has only a 13. So kudos to the LG Style 4 Plus for, uh, you know, having a better camera at 16 megapixels. So, so far, the LG Style 4 Plus is taking this win. So let's keep going down to the key features and see what key features these phones might have that might attract our attention. So the LG Style 4 Plus is a 6.2 inch full HD plus display with embedded stylus. Maximize your view and enjoyment of the full vision display that delivers clear picture quality and a more vivid visual experience. Versus the LG Style 5, it has a 6.2 inch full vision 1080p display with stylus. Both of these have a 1080p display, guys, just to be clear. This is a large edge to edge display with a FHD plus 2160 by 1080p pixels. Um, resolution provided total immersion and a rich visual experience. So now, of course, we're going to talk about their cameras. The Stalo 4 Plus has a 16 megapixel rear facing camera with a wide angle 5 megapixel front facing camera. Of course, we know, guys, thanks to me doing a couple camera tests with these phones, the front facing camera is not the best. It actually is pretty bad. The back one is it's passable, but the front 5 megapixels, you know, at, especially in 2019 with the LG Stalo 5, you know, it really needs to improve it. Um, so I guess, you know, their budget really didn't go into that. So versus the LG Style 5 says so superior camera with auto enhancing technologies. So right there, you know, even though it's only a 13 megapixel camera, 
it's saying that you know has enhanced technologies um, so it has face um, detect autofocus uh, minimize blur and capture rapidly I will say the one thing that I did see that the style of 5 plus had was a little bit slider better camera and I wouldn't say super the resolution but it is when you're taking video it's more stabilized guys so I was very surprised on the LG style of 5's camera how stabilized and smooth it was um, because it does have stabilization when I was shooting like I said pretty pretty good feature to have you know so kudos to them if you're doing a lot of videography or taking a lot of videos the LG style 5 plus I was kind of a little blown away with how smooth it looked even when I was running so that's without even a gimbal so pretty cool let's go down to their last key features the LG style 4 plus says it's an IP68 dust and water system so wow that's pretty cool the LG style 5 I'm not even sure if it's water resistant but the LG style 4 plus is saying hey fantastic protection against elements ensure trouble free use and the toughest conditions so that's pretty cool and then of course the lg style 5 just says powerful performance so this is talking about its processor it says fast and effective hardware designed for high gear productivity three gigs of ram 32 gigs of internal storage of course i believe you get to use only about 20 of that gigs oh whoa actually 16.32 usables already that's what's my big gripe about the lg style 5 guys it's half of your internal storage is already used so instead of this phone being 32 gigs you should say it's 16 gigs really it's 32 but you know the operating system needs to use some of that and of course especially once you download um you know the boost mobile apps and blowware and all that stuff yes you can delete some of that but it will use up that storage so it says with up to um, two terabyte expandable micro SD card and a powerful Qualcomm Snapdragon 1.8 gigahertz octa core processor. So, right there, it's saying, hey, you know, I'm a little bit better performance. So, let's get down to the bottom and finish this off by seeing the specs and how they both compare. Um, so, let me just get this centered right here. All right, so spec time. So, as you can see, the LG Style 4 Plus has a 3,300 milliamp battery. Well, the Stylo 5 actually has a bigger battery at 3,500 milliamp battery. Both only will do about 21 hours of talk time, and both batteries are non-removable. Memory-wise, the LG Stylo 4 Plus has 3 gigs of RAM with 32 gigs of ROM, so 32 gigs of internal storage, and both can do up uh, to a 2 terabyte SD card, so that's pretty good. Um, the processor as, as well, check this out. I don't know why the... The style of 4 plus it looks like it has mediatek um so yeah they should have stuck with the snapdragon so it's a 1.5 gigahertz octa-core mediatek mt6750 s versus the lg style 5 actually has uh you know a 1.8 gigahertz octa-core qualcomm snapdragon 450 yes it's a low tier snapdragon guys it's not even a 6 series so it's not gonna be you know that fast um, I mean, the Samsung A10e at $100 has a better, uh, you know, processor. It has, you know, uh, Exynos processor that a lot of people actually, you know, compare to the 6 series Snapdragons. So that's pretty cool. But yes, right there, the, the I would give this win to the LG Style 5 just because it has a little bit stronger processor, at least, you know, from the looks of it. Operating system, the 4 Plus has an Oreo but some reports are saying it could be updated to Pi, while the 5 already comes with Pi, so 9.0 Pi. The cameras as well, like I said, the 4 Plus looks like it has a little bit better camera at 16 megapixel rear phasing camera with a wide angle 5 megapixel front phasing. The LG Style 5 Plus has a 13 megapixel PDAF rear camera and 5 megapixel wide angle front camera, but like I said, it does have that good stabilization. Now we look into the displays. The 4 Plus has a 6.2 inch Full HD Plus display and the LG Style 5 has a 6.2 Full HD 1080p Full Vision display with stylus dimensions. So you can see the Style 5 is a little bit bigger at 6.34 by 3.09 while the Style 4 is a 6.3 by 3.06 and then connectivity um, like I said it's just Wi-Fi enabled Bluetooth 4.2. Um, USB type C fast charging on the style of 4 plus and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, but I 
the Stylo 5 actually has something better than that. It's a Wi-Fi enabled Bluetooth 5.0, guys. So Bluetooth 5.0, so better connectivity versus the Stylo 4 Plus at 4.2. Um, and then both of the of these phones have uh, USB type C now the style 4 plus has fast charging the style 5 does not at least indicate that it has at least a boost mobile variant so like I said I know a lot of you guys will be like well the cricket version the metro version has you know blah 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 like I said this this is the boost mobile variant so it might be a little bit different but it does charge quickly I didn't see it saying fast charging like the style 4 plus but I can tell you it, it charges pretty quick um, and then other features is create your own emojis, uh, scratch art, draw chat messages, or color in the coloring book with a stylus pen, Google AI camera. That's another thing that the Stylo 5 has over the Stylo 4 Plus is it does have a Google AI camera and Google Assist features. So that's pretty cool. So there you go, guys. What do you think with these phones being priced at the same $100 price tag currently on Boost Mobile? What do you think? Which one actually is better? Which one are you thinking of getting? You know, technically Style 5 is a little bit better, um, just barely. Um, you know, they just really, you can tell that the battery got bumped up. The camera quality, at least megapixel wise, went down. But like I said, it does have an AI camera and stabilization. Um, and as well, the processor is a little bit better with the Snapdragon on the Style 5. And of course, the operating system. So very minimal tweaks and upgrades but hey you know everything helps i guess at this price point so thank you for watching guys please comment rate subscribe if you want to support the channel you can via my paypal in the description below or you can now click the join button next to the subscribe button or you can also check that out in the description below and you can actually help me you know bring more content and phones to you guys to unbox and review with a monthly donation of 99 cents you can donate and get extra perks like one day early content so you might be seeing seeing this content actually a day late, um, as well as behind the scenes and a lot more stuff. So check that out in the description below, or you can check out my number one supporter at netbuddy.co. They offer true limited AT&T hotspot, never throttled or capped for only $65 a month. But if you use my link and promo code at checkout, you will save $5. That promo code is Sanchez45973. I said that will be in the description below, so check that out. Thank you for watching, guys. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and let me know what you think. Thank you.